Hi guys. All right, I'm gonna give it a second for everybody to jump on. Let me turn my chats on. Happy Sunday morning, as you can see. My package showed up. All right, you guys all got the email. There we are. Okay. Okay, now I can see chats. I see four of you are on. Somebody say hello. Hey, Terry, how's California? Hi, Deb. Hey, Trace. Look, my box showed up. There's way more in the box, but it's like foilables and stuff that you guys have already seen. Hey, Carolyn. I know, I was like super excited. And I don't know exactly where it came from. I suspect maybe one of the neighbors had it because I doubt the post office would come back out on a Sunday. Um, and it wasn't there at 10 o'clock last night when I went to bed. I locked the doors and I went and checked everything. It definitely wasn't there. So someone had put it out this morning. So I'm guessing one of the neighbors had it. Didn't really go through their mail. Went through their mail and then was like, oh, this isn't mine. Okay, so I got to be really quick. So someone has to tell me when it's getting like, uh, we could do like a half, a, like 12, 12.05 I got to go because I have a facial scheduled at 12.30 today. Um, anyway. Got to keep my youthful appearance for all you guys. <laughs> all right. So it's it's what I call um, um, scrapbook fest season, stamp booking, uh, stamping show season. I get really, really excited because this, this is the time of year when it's my Christmas, where I get to go to these shows. And you guys have seen my haul videos. I really like try. I do go to Michael's Hobby Lobby and Joann's pretty weekly, but I don't really buy a whole lot. Like literally I'll go in there and buy $20 worth of stuff in the Lehman. I don't really buy a whole bunch of stuff. When I go to these stamp shows, Nancy's credit card gets a phone call from the bank asking me if it's been stolen. <laughs> but, um, no, I really enjoy the stamp shows because number one, it's an, it's an environment where you get to see all kinds of new creative stuff. Creativation is in January. A lot of these vendors come back with new things and they want to show you them and you get to demonstrate and play with them. You do make and take. So it's a lot of fun. Number two, I'm supporting small mom and pop businesses. You know, Creative Vision Stamps was one of the first companies I fell in love with a long, long time ago for her stamps. When she went into foiling, it just made it even better. But I would get excited every year just to see Laura and what kind of new stuff she had. So I know that, and Laura doesn't have a store. I mean, she does everything out of her house. She, she, um, she presses her own rubber for her stamps. She, she, gets all this stuff in, she packages it, she, it's all done in house. She, she does not have a storefront. So now that she's been doing it for, I don't know, 15, 20 years, she's decided to retire and I'm happy for my friend. I'm sad that I'm going to lose some of her things, but I want to support these companies because I want to make sure that they are around for a long time for us and our hobby. I don't want to just order things online. And I know sometimes that's the only choice we have, but if you can go to these shows, it's fun. It's worth it. You get a lot of things and they oftentimes have show specials so for show specials you can get like buy so many get so many free like normally um i think blue night rubber stamps does like buy four stamps get one free or something to that effect a lot of companies have those kinds of discounts where they say show special buy this and you get this for free that you would not get on their website or get on um, you know, just by going in their store. So I love those kinds of things. There's so many times I've gone up to a booth and gotten like dies for, you know, five or ten dollars. And you know, dies are getting expensive. They're twenty, thirty dollars for dies. So just something to keep in mind. Um hi, 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 everybody. I just want to look at your comments. Yes, we're gonna talk about Creative Vision Stamps point. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Susan. Okay, so I made myself many years ago a inventory book because it became overwhelming when I went to these store when I went to these shows and I would buy all of these inks and stamps and I could remember some of what I had. Like generally I know what stamps I have. I know what kind of stamps I like to buy. I know what kind of stamps I have. So I started taking pictures of my inventory and kind of updating it and putting it in the book. Now, 
not so much stamps anymore unless there's a specific stamp I'm looking for, but really for my inks and my um, foils. So like, oh, Copic Marks is a big one for me. So Copic Markers, I always buy like two or three each time I go to the show. So these are the Copic markers I have. I check my book to make sure I don't buy the same Copic marker. And I just pick up two or three, fill in the gaps of what I don't have. So that's a big one I use this for. Um, Spectrum Noir markers. Here are the Nouveau drops. So I don't buy the same color Nouveau drops. I've put them in order. And when I come back from the show, I go in here and I update my list so that when I go to the next show, I don't have the same problem. Here's Gina K Glitter Glitz Gel. Here's uh, my Nuvo um, things. Now here I've crossed out some because these have dried out, the Spectrum Noir, so I crossed them out. And that's kind of a reminder myself not to buy it because I remember that they dried out. Yes, Kiki, it showed up today. Um, my all to new inks and then the big one is like blue night rubber stamps I have so many blue night rubber stamps. I can't remember them all So every time I get a package of those and that's because I'm on the design team But a lot of these I bought before I even became on the design team So a lot of these were that I already owned and then when I go to the show I get a discount for being on the design team. So I buy even more <laughs> So these are all my blue night rubber stamps stamps. So I have a lot um, in fact, I have to add the, the new collection. But today I want to talk about foiling. I know we don't have a whole bunch of time. So I have this little swatch book, and my little swatch book has my, you can see it's very gently loved of all of the colors of foils that I had. Now I have not added to this the brand new colors that just came out. So I thought you would like to see my process here. I'm going to move my little inventory book out of the way. And I'm going to swatch these out on a piece of 110 pound black cardstock just because it's heavy duty. I do want to show you guys there is a difference. Somebody said they did get the new foils. The brand new two foil colors are pretty in pink and tutti frutti. Now again, just to remind you, yes, Laura is retiring. She was on the road helping a fellow stamper at the stamp show near her home this week. And I talked to her this morning, tell her my package came in and she said, I'm glad I went on the road because it really solidified my decision to retire. So she is retiring. Um, she still has a lot of stamps that she needs to sell. So those, until they're all gone, she's gonna stay until she, till they're gone. Um, but, um, these, these colors are not the same as the old color, so I wanted to, to sh swatch them out to show you guys that difference as well. Now, the first one is my absolute favorite. It is called Tutti Frutti. This is the color I've been waiting for my whole life. Kelly, can you see what color it is? Oh, yeah, I like the black, too. Oh, yeah, I know. I know, Dion. That's a good idea. That's right, Kiki. It is like my favorite. This is usually the color I go for on my nails. The color of my lipstick is called Spellbound, which is this color. And I can tell you, we don't have anything else this color. It is a bright fuchsia color. Love it. It's my favorite. I am going to very nicely cut the label off here. Um, so the foiling manufacturer obviously has had this huge relationship with Laura over the last couple years. They do not want her to retire. They are basically <laughs> trying to keep her in business by sending her these new colors to try out. Um, now, whether or not the new company she sold to is going to carry them or not, I do not know. Um, she's not allowed to talk about any of that with me, so we don't discuss it. I don't know when the new company is going to start carrying anything. I don't know who they are. I don't know if they have a booth at the show. I, I don't know any of that, guys. I can't answer that. She's not allowed to talk about any of that with me. Um, but what I do know is that as long as she's selling foils, I'm going to be buying them. All right, so I cut a little swatch of this. Well, let me show you what I'm going to do here. We're going to swatch them out, and then I'm going to show you the difference between some of the older colors. This one is called Pretty in Pink. Totally reminds me of the movie from the 80s. What was that? 16 Candles, Pretty in Pink, right? And I like to pull my labels off. Oh, that one came off very cleanly. And I save the labels. Okay, 
So you don't need heat to swatch them out. You don't need heat at all to use these foils, just so you know, even though they say hot foil uh, or heat foiling system, heat transfer foil, you do not need heat for them. Okay, so what I do is I take a little piece of double adhesive tape. This is a uh, stick it, stick it, stick it good. Do, 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 do. Okay, so stick it. You guys have all seen stick it. I got to buy some more stick it at the show. Remind me of that. My ADHD is like in full effect today because I'm excited. And I'm going to take my little circle punch and cut out some of these. What you can't see is I'm doing it right on the line where the adhesive is so that um, it will peel apart easier for me. It's kind of wasteful. I'm sorry. Let's, let's not waste it. All right. We got our little circles here. And I'm going to put them down. Let me get my white gel pen out, too, while we're here. E easy peeling. Oh, I should have put that on the top. And any double-sided adhesive will work. I did use the Elizabeth Craft Designs tape on the one in my book, and it's just almost too sticky. I'm going to swatch these out so you guys can see in side by side what they look like compared to the other ones. Kiki, I'm going to get my facial today. I'll be over in your neck of the woods. Sort of. Leah went to a birthday party. Xavier is kind of awake, kind of not awake. I'm sure he was playing video games all night. Uh... Oh, Tutti Frutti, is, as soon as I open the box, I'm like, where has this color been my whole life? Why did I not have a foil this color before? I don't know any other manufacturer that makes that color fuchsia either. Oh, come on. My nails are getting in the way. Okay, we're just going to do those four for now. And I'll do the rest later. Okay, so I'm going to cut a piece of Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti! Oh, Judy. Stick it is stuck it so good. Come on. Where are we get from? I should have stuck the double sided down. All right, now here's the difference. When you use adhesive versus using hot foiling, the foil's gonna take on whatever property of the adhesive, so keep that in mind. The adhesive for me is easier and quicker. It's just a color swatch for me. It's not gonna look perfectly foiled, so don't expect that super smooth look because you're not gonna get it. I just wanna make you guys aware of that. It's just a color swatch. We're not really you know, foiling anything with the adhesive here. That's why I use the end pieces of the foil because that's the outer layer is kind of like, it's like an onion. It's just that protective layer. You know, really I don't care what the outer layer looks like. Getting this, oh my gosh, it's like impossible to get up. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, now the two colors, these are very familiar looking, but they're not the same, and I'm going to show you why. Our Razzle Dazzle and Nana's Roses. First of all, the colors are slightly different. They're very similar, but they are different. Second of all, the finishes are different. And what that mean is, what I mean is, there's basically three finishes of foil. There's high gloss, super shiny foil, okay, which is what most of these foils are. There's low gloss shiny foil, which is kind of like the backside of aluminum foil where it's still shiny, but it's not as glossy, if that makes sense. And then there's matte foil. And matte foil really isn't glossy. It's just kind of there. Um, you can tell it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, you can tell it's a foil, but it's um, not as glossy or shiny. Kind of like the birch bark, if you look at that foil, it is what I would call matte foil, okay? So these, um, Foils, not only are they different colors, they, they do have different um, finishes. So I just want to explain that. So I'm going to go over that with you. And again, I know it's tedious to watch me do that, but I like to put my foils away and take care of them. They're my babies. Hi, Eden. Okay, so you've already seen this. If you've had, and if you've purchased any Creative Vision stamps foil before, and you're wondering, okay, some of these new colors look like old colors. Let me show you what I mean by the difference here. Okay, here is Seaside Cabana. Seaside Cabana, Cabana is a high gloss, shiny turquoise foil. You see that? Okay, this is one of the first colors I ever got. I love it. It's very pretty, a very nice turquoise blue. Okay, a new color that just came out as a limited edition is called Baby Blues. Baby Blues is very similar in color, but this is a low gloss foil. So it's kind of almost like a matte foil. It's still foily, but it's just not as shiny and the color is slightly lighter. Can you guys see the difference there? Okay, so Coastal Cabana, I'm sorry, Seaside Cabana and Baby Blues. Different finishes, similar colors, different finishes, okay? So we've already seen this once. I want to show you that's pretty much what's going on here with the pinks. Although having all four of them swatched out, they are four different colors. I didn't think of that, Kiki. <laughs> Why you got to be smarter than me? <laughs> okay. So... Let me hold this up so you can see the swatch difference. So, Tutti Fruity is a high gloss foil. Notice how much more pinky purple it is than Razzle Dazzle. They're similar, but Razzle Dazzle is more of a muted pink. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal it, hold on Kiki. I just wanna show the four square swatch here. Um, it's a muted pink and it has the low gloss foil to it, okay? The new Pretty in Pink is more like I would say a carnation 
pink. It's almost like a corally pink. And it's a low gloss foil. Nana's Roses is a baby pink. And it is a high, a high gloss foil. So these two are high gloss. These two are low gloss. Does that make sense? And you can see the difference in color. So everybody said, well, these two look the same and these two look the same. They're not the same. They're definitely different shades of pink. And now I will reveal them. This will be my little swatch. And then later when I come back, I'll swatch out all the new colors. And of course, you could use toner and punch out toner and heat set it if you wanted to do all of that. This, this stick it is not sticking. Oh boy, I might have to leave it this way. I know it's stick it, you gotta burnish it down. Oh, there we go. That makes a difference. Huge difference when you burnish it. Okay, now they'll come off. That one's not coming off. Stick it is sticking to the foil and not sticking to the cardstock. That's odd. I'm gonna have to rip it off. Rip it off. Nope. Oh crappity crap. Well, I'll redo that one. Whoopsie. My fault. Alright. <laughs> okay, time for me to go. Just got a reminder. But I just wanted to swatch these out so you guys could see the difference. Between Tutti Fruity, Razzle Dazzle, Pretty in Pink, which just got ripped off, and Nana's Roses. And I will do some more tonight because I want you guys to see these colors. So I'm going to go get my facial now. And I'll talk to you guys later. But I did want to show you guys these are completely different colors and finishes from what's out there. Again, one is called Tutti Fruity. One is called Pretty in Pink. I did notice on the website, I don't know if the special's still going or not, but if you ordered certain colors, you got the shamrock kit for free so i did order myself some more gold and when i did now you're gonna have to check the website the website said you get a free shamrock kit so here's the saint patrick's day kit see free item you get um full size four on each so you get eight um sentiments and two backgrounds you can cut down so i just want to let you guys know that all right i'm logging off now i will see you guys later have a good day